guys good morning welcome to rapturous house my name is tanya i hope you all are doing absolutely absolutely wonderful today's reading is going to be for my virgos i want to see i want to see what's the energy surrounding you guys okay i do want to thank you all i want to thank you all for all your likes all your shares all of your comments they're all greatly greatly appreciated if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do so that way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember, only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading. Okay, all right, my loves, I do call in the Holy Spirit. I call in the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. Let's see what's currently going on with my Virgo spirit. Oh, so we have evaluation. Weed out what doesn't serve you. Reevaluate the situation. This card came out just the other day for you guys. Your spirit guides are wanting you guys to do an evaluation, to weed out what does not serve you. What are you still holding on to? What emotions are you still holding on to? What from your past are you still holding on to? Which is, which is, which is not allowing you to bring forth some type of change in your life. There's something here that you guys are still holding on to that your spirit guides are wanting you guys to weed out. So that a change can actually happen. So there can be growth in your life. Your spirit guides are wanting you guys to evaluate your current situation. Evaluate your mind. Meaning like what, what are you thinking about? Where is your thoughts? Where is your emotions? Massive, massive energy. Your spirit guides want you guys to reevaluate your current situation. Are you in a healthy environment? A healthy situation that kind of allows space and opportunity for growth for change that's very very important very very relevant so let's see show me what I need to see for my Virgo spirit show me what I need to see so we have attraction what are you attracting right now present moment are you even open to it are you even open to it? Show me more, spirit. I don't know why I'm getting like the thoughts kind of manifesting what you're attracting into your life, like thinking negative or, or like stress, stress attracting stress or negative thoughts attracting negative, positive thoughts attracting positive, that type of e that type of energy, what are you trying to create and grow in your life? I feel like your spirit guides are wanting you guys to kind of focus on that. What you're attracting right now, present moment, what you're trying to create and where you're trying to grow here. Where you're trying to grow. You know, some of you guys are in a situation right now, present moment where you've outgrown this life or this world. You know, the life that you're living, the world that you, the, like, you know, your environment there may be an environment here. This could be within your work or personal environment, a community itself. The life that you're trying to create, I feel like there's a pondering and there's a thinking about all of the things that you want to create, but what are the actions that you guys are taking? I feel like there's a massive energy here of you guys evaluating this situation because there's something here in this energy about what you are attracting, what you're attracting here. Let's see. Show me, Spirit. Show me what I need to see. Resistance. So there's some resistance here. What are you guys resisting? The masculine here. What are you guys... I feel like when that masculine comes out, I feel like it's, 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 it's an ego-based. The ego comes when we're in need, when we feel mind, heart. We feel the need to protect self we feel emotions and i feel like right now present moment there's there's some emotions here that your spirit guides are wanting you guys to reevaluate. this talks about self-discovery self-love self-appreciation 
Um, and I feel like there's some type of emotion here that you got, your spirit guides are wanting you guys to re-evaluate, to evaluate so that you can weed out what does no longer, what no longer serves you because there's an emotion here. You may have feelings, your emotions are feelings, feelings about a, a past occurrence, a past circumstance, a past situation, a past person, because all emotions are, are things of the past, things that you've experienced. And every now and again, there's a revisiting of that. So right now, present moment, a lot of you guys in your, you may truly be resi resisting change, resisting the fact that you have, that there's so much growth within you, around you, so many possibilities within you, around you, massive, massive energy. Yeah, let's see. So let's see what's going on. Show me this attraction for my Virgos. What is my Virgos attracting right now, present moment, spirit? So the number 44 could be very significant. I have the number 39, I have the number five, and I also have the number 25, and I also have the number 42. So let's see. Some of you guys could definitely be seeing 444. Knight of Pentacles, see that? You. What are you attracting here? What are you working on right now, present moment? I feel like this Knight of, Pentacle, Knight of Pentacles is somebody that's very patient, very patient, very diligent, slow moving. So right now, present mo moment, there is some slow moving progression in your life. Right now, present moment, while you may be trying to overcome something or get over something, it's just been kind of lingering. There's a lingering energy. You know, this is lingering emotions, lingering stress. You know, stress, anxiety, fear. You know, there's a lingering. It's you're slowly coming out of this. You're slowly coming out of this. And I feel like if you stay in this mindset, because it's 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 an energy here of kind of staying in a mindset. Some you know, there could be like a poverty mindset, and it doesn't have to be with your finances, but a poverty mindset, like there's there could be jealous or envy, you know, stress. You know, they're, they're, whatever these emotions are that you guys are feeling right now, present moment, it's like you're attracting just that. Whatever you're feeling right now, present moment, there's a massive energy right now, present moment of you guys attracting that. You know, and there is some resistance because in order for growth to happen, you guys are in an, like, I just keep seeing this. It's like you guys are in an environment that you have outgrown whatever this environment is for you. There is an environment right now, present moment in your life that you have outgrown. And in order to have the life that you want, in order to live the life that you want, you have to be ready, inclined is what I'm hearing, to create, to go beyond the masses is what I'm hearing, to go beyond, the, to go beyond what society says, to go beyond what you know. Pushing yourself past a point, a breaking point for some of you guys. And why I say a breaking point? Because it's breaking past your limitations. I feel like your spirit guides are calling you guys right now, present moment, to go beyond that point of exhaustion. Go beyond that point of I give up. Instead of giving up, it's like allowing your mind to wander past the point of I'm done. You know, in order for some type of change to happen, you have to change. You have to change how you handle situations. You have to change your response to these situations, to these circumstances, changing your response to your circumstances. And I feel like the overall energy here is for you guys to do a thorough eval evaluation of your life, you know, the role that you play and what you subject yourself to and what you do how you react to it, how you act and how you react. I feel like your spirit guides are calling you guys to do an evaluation of that and to weed out what no longer serves you because there's something right now, present moment in your life that is not serving you. It's not serving, your, serving, serving you for your highest and your greatest good. It's not serving your cause. It's not serving where you're trying to go, the life that you're wanting to live. No, because there's so much growth, but there's resistance and what you have outgrown. There is resistance. And some of you guys, it's a feeling. You know, you may be still revisiting emotions here that really and truly you're over and done either way. 
Like you may be revisiting what happened between you and someone when you're over the person. You see that? And it keeps bringing you back. You know, you may be like over and done, like just done with this job, but you still keep going to it. Yes, because you have to, I get that. But what actions are you taking to get yourself out of this situation where you have outgrown? There's a big emphasis here of getting you, you guys out of a situation that you've already outgrown, that you've already outgrown. Yes, it's going to require a slow and steady, slow and steady progression. This is going to require dedication, dedication to your cause, dedication to yourself, to making your situation better so that you guys can attract what it is that you want for yourself for the life that you're trying to live, what you're trying to overcome as well, because this is all about attracting and creating. Attracting and creating. But you see it's, you see how this mind, I keep looking at this mind here and how she's sitting there, she's pondering as I'm looking at 11, 11 on the clock. So you guys are trying to create something. You guys are wanting to create something, something of your own, something of your own. You know, this could be, something massive or something very subliminal, but still you're trying to create something. You want to create something. Yeah. So show me spirit. Show me this creation. Show me this creation for my Virgos. So we have the nine of chalice where you're content and where you're fulfilled. What you're trying to create, what you're really and truly trying to create is your own wish fulfillment. But some of you guys may feel right now, present moment, like that's not happening. What you're trying to create is your own wish fulfillment here. But you may feel right now, present moment, that that is just not happening for you. Or it's just happening so dang on slow. So slowly. So slowly. So we see, gro we see growth happening. Ultimately, you guys have outgrown a situation and there is, there's, it's, there's, there's a continuous growth. You know... There's continuous growth here in your mind. There's continuous growth in your heart. And I feel like there's something here in this energy about you, about your spirit guys kind of wanting you guys to make room for this growth, make more room for this growth. And in order to make more room for this growth, first you have to acknowledge that you've outgrown a situation. You see this egg or whatever this is. I always think of it as an egg birthing, but it's continuous. Like there's a, there's a continuous growth no longer can fit. So it's busting through. So there's something here where you guys no longer can fit or there's not, or something can no longer fit in your life or within you. And it's like busting through, bursting through to have its own day in the sun, to have its own, like this is like, finally you coming out of the darkness into the light. Finally, you guys coming out of that darkness into the light. But this is, this is, this is a subconscious pattern that it goes into the conscience of awareness. And I feel like this is you guys, like your subconscious kind of busting through certain patterns, you know, certain patterns here that you guys have just kind of trickled through life with. And those patterns could be the obsessive thinking, stress, over stress circumstances, situations you may have with certain people Massive, massive energy. Show me this growth for my Virgos. Show me this growth for my Virgo spirit. So we have the queen of pentacles. Look at that. That's when you get, see, you go from the knight of pentacles, which requires action because the knight is all, the knight always goes into battle. As I see 14, 14 on the clock, the knight is rushing into battle and the knight knows what the knight wants. The knight knows what the knight needs to do. And I feel like you guys absolutely know what you need to do to get what you want. And I feel like whether it's within the 3D realm or the 5D realm, it's you guys knowing what it is that you need to do to get what it is that you want. To attract what you want, to create what you want for the growth that you want. The queen of pentacles. The queen of pentacles is all about growth. All of the work the queen of pentacles puts into life into the into her goals into her desires this is everything that she works towards but this is reaping the rewards of it 
because there is contentment right now present moment i don't feel like you guys feel content because the nine of chalice actually came out in the reverse so you guys don't feel content right now, present moment. You don't feel fulfilled right now, present moment. You don't feel like your wishes are being granted right now, present moment. Your cups are not full right now, present moment. You don't feel like your cups are full right now, present moment. And I feel like why you don't feel that way is because of how slow it is that it's almost like, yes, I say stagnation sometimes, or it's 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 like just just like a calmness right now present moment you may feel like you're just kind of getting by some of you guys like i'm just getting by you're putting in all of this work and you just kind of feel like you're just getting by that type of energy is coming through but there is growth but it's the growth and this coming out of just getting by it doesn't truly manifest until you guys actually come to this understanding that you have outgrown your current situation because you've actually outgrown it. You're bigger and you're better than it. Things could be bigger and better, but you first, you have to see that. You first, you first, you have to acknowledge that and stop resisting. Stop dimming your light for someone else, dimming your shine for someone else, staying in situations, staying within circumstances, because you have some type of past emotional tie to it because there is an emotional tie to whatever this is. Yeah, so show me this resistance. Show me this resistance for my Virgos. So we have death here, Scorpio energy. So there's something that has to come to an end, but you see the, the Scorpio energy actually just came out in the reverse with that death. And this is telling me you guys are in resistance right now, present moment, you are. And in order for a transformation to happen, something has to die. And when I say that, I say that so lightly, meaning death of an ego, death of these emotions that kind of hinder your growth, you know, letting the past go. You're having to put something behind you. There's something here that you guys are needing to leave behind, put behind you and to stop resisting your shine. Stop resisting your growth. Stop resisting your transformation. Because when death comes out, whether in the upright or even in the reverse, this is something that ultimately has to happen. But it just, it's one of those things where as your actions determine if it happens for your highest and your greatest good, or if it will debilitate you in some type of way, shape or form. And it's like, as soon as you, the faster that you recognize that you have, you're so much more than your current circumstances. The faster that you realize that is when this transformation truly happens. It's when this transformation truly, truly happens for you, but you have to realize it. No one else can do it for you. No one else can do it for you, my loves. So let's see, show me, spirit. show me what I need to see for my Virgos. Show me, show me what I need to see. Confidence is your key to success. Confidence is your key to success. And I feel like your spirit guides want you guys to know that. Your confidence, your belief in self, your passion for life, because that Leo energy is all about passion. And also, it's, Leo's negative is people pleasing, doing things because of other people what other people may think of you. And I feel like right now, present moment, what your spirit guides want you guys to put to rest is that. Worrying about what other people are doing, what other people are saying, or what they might. Your confidence is key to your success. You have to believe in yourself. You know, all of that passion that you exuberate through life, you need to exuberate that for your highest and your greatest good. Massive, massive energy. Yeah. All right, my loves. That is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Guys, know that I love and appreciate every last one of you guys. Until next time. Bye, guys.